Hi, welcome to another tutorial from tdcat.com. Today we're going to look at how to make the uh, white background of, um, uh, of, a, of, a, of a JPEG file, well, usually a JPEG file anyway, um, transparent uh, for use in maybe a PowerPoint presentation or for use on a web page or something like that. Uh, you, a lot of the time you end up with um, JPEG files and they always have a white background to them and that unless the background of whatever you're going to be using them on is exactly the same colour, it looks weird because then you end up with the logo or the image and then a kind of white box around it. So we're going to look at how you make that transparent in Photoshop. Now there are a couple of ways of doing this, um, but a lot of them are, a lot of, a lot of them basically don't work very well or are really quite kind of, quite simple. I suppose, uh, such as kind of drawing a selection around it and then erasing the rest and things like that. And it's just a, a messy way of doing it. So we're going to do it slightly differently here. And <clears throat> uh, I'm actually just going to use a, a logo that I recently used on a post. So here we go. I've just um, opened up Photoshop and you can see this is a JPEG logo. And uh, you can see here, bitrix 24 logojpeg And it has a white background. So all this is actual sort of uh, white, it's not transparent. I want this to be transparent because I want to use this, uh, I, well, I did use this on a, on a blog post recently. So if I first, firstly just uh, double click on the background and that pops up the new lay layer box and it just basically forces it to um, uh, become uh, an active layer rather than, uh, rather than the background. And the very first thing I need to do is duplicate that layer. And I can do that a number of ways. Uh, I can press uh, Control Alt or Command Option and just click and drag that layer like that. Or if I just uh, undo that, then I can also do Control J. But you've got to be careful because we we're, we also copy late, the layer later on, and the Control J option doesn't work. Um, so in that case, you have to do the uh, control alt or command option um, drag version instead. So let's go to the copied layer first of all and invert it. So control I to invert and you end up with, well, the inverted version of that image. And then we're going to press uh, control A to select everything. Uh, when that's with this layer highlighted, by the way, by the, that's with the inverted layer highlighted, you're going to press Control A and press Control C. So that's copied into the clipboard. And now we can leave that layer. So basically we can just hide it, ignore it, ignore it totally for now. Move down to the original layer. And we're going to click on the mask button at the bottom to add a layer mask. And then while holding down Alt or uh, Option, I'm going to click into this area here. So I'm going to hold down Alt and click in there. And then, as you can see here, it goes white. So I'm going to now copy what we um, just put into the clipboard just a second ago into this area. So now this is a kind of black and white area. And we are going to go back to the main, if we just go back to this main section here, we notice that what we've ended up with is a transparent version of that, but it's very, very faint at this point. So all we need to do from that point onwards is build it up. So if we do uh, Control Alt and dr click and drag, and then Control Alt click drag, Control Alt click drag, Control Alt click drag, it usually takes about ten layers, something like that. It does depend on the original image, or in, in fact, it's whatever you need it to be really. So if I just carry on doing it. And maybe one more. And now you can see at the bottom here, we've got a pretty much solid, it's a slight bit of transparency along the bottom bit here, and it fades as you would expect to uh, greater transparency at the top. That's because of the gradient on the actual kind of cloud bit of this Bitrix 24 logo. Background is totally transparent, and behind the letters is totally transparent. Now, don't flatten the image at this point uh, because you'll end up with exactly the same as you started with. You'll end up with. Um, uh, the white background again. So leave it, leave it as it is, go straight to File, Save for Web, and let me just drag my Save for Web options over to my recording screen, change it to PNG, and there we go. We have a transparent version of that image. 
Quite simple, hey? So hopefully that's useful for somebody. It's definitely useful for me. It's something I use quite a lot. And uh, for that one, I'm going to give the credit to um, a gentleman by the name of Gavin Laubscher, who I work with, and uh, he showed me how to do that one. Uh, so, yeah, fair play, because it's really, really handy when you're wanting to use this sort of stuff in presentations and things like that. It just makes everything a lot, lot neater and uh, is really useful. So thanks very much, and we'll catch you next time. <laughs>